Hello Libra, welcome to my channel. My name is Rose and I'm here to bring you a weekly love tarot read. This is for entertainment purposes only, so with that do keep in mind, um, just take what you need, leave the rest. If you require a personal reading guys, feel free to reach out, we can go ahead and book that for you. All the details on how to co connect with me of course will be in the show more section below. And thank you to each and every one of you who keep showing up and continuing to support me uh, through your likes, shares and subscribes. Uh, these six cards here, Libra, will perform the main part of your reading here today. Stick around to the very end. I am going to draw an animal spirit card to draw in extra messages surrounding your special person. And um, we're going to kick off this read using a Romance Angel Oracle card to sort of get an overall feel and vibe of what's coming through in the upcoming week uh, regarding this person that you are thinking of coming into this read. Uh, the signs of the person that you could be dealing with here, because the Knight of Pentacles is showing up in your spread, it could be a strong um, Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, okay? So, let's get the romance. Oh, here we go. Straight away, we've got a card coming through. All right, what have we got here? We've got the wedding card coming through. This situation involves marriage. So it could be, uh, Libra, that in the upcoming week there is a conversation surrounding the commitment of this connection or relationship. You know, where is it going? Um, can you see yourself marrying this person? Do they even want to get married? Do you both want to get married? Uh, maybe someone that you're dealing with here is already in marriage, is, is already in marriage, is married. Um, but I do see for the most part, Libra, a strong conversation surrounding marriage and commitment in the upcoming days and week. Even in the tarot card here, you've got the four of wands, which does predominantly speak to marriage. Okay, a celebration taking place. Maybe for some of you, you are getting married in the upcoming week. All right, maybe this is a, an elopement. Maybe there's an elopement taking place, but I'm seeing celebrations here. I'm seeing gatherings and celebrations and coming together and like a reunion taking place. This is reaching some kind of a milestone. For some of you Librans out there, you are, um, what's the word? Um just trying to think of the word you know when you're already married and then you re renewal of your vows that's that's it that's where I was going with that okay so for some of you who are already you know committed to this person um, I do see maybe a renewal of your vows and and this is just a, a celebration to um, you know reconfirm your love to one another um, so I do see this taking place Moving right along, we've got the Five of Swords here. There is conflict, there is tension, there is an argument taking place here. Um, there is some kind of a falling out. Now, I don't know if there's some people in your environment, Libra, that are displeased with uh, the choice of, of getting married or of an impromptu wedding. But I do see an argument taking place here. Now, I do feel for the most part that it won't last long. You've got the Ace of Swords here. And I feel like with your air energy, Libra, you're coming on in and you're, you're, th there's victory here. Okay, so you're um, succeeding at something here. So if there is conflict, if there is an argument, I feel like you're coming in with your sword and you're clearing this up. Okay. Uh, you're cutting away any of the debris, any of the uncertainty or clarity, um, lack of clarity that people might have. You're just coming in with your sort of truth and you're having your peace of mind. I just feel like you're, the truth shall set you free, okay? So, um, and I feel like you're coming in here. You're charging right on in and you're having a victorious moment here. That's what I'm seeing. You've got the Knight of Pentacles. He is in reverse. 
Okay, the Knight of Pentacles, when he's in reverse, he lacks commitment. He lacks commitment. He's not committed. Maybe this person that you're in a relationship with here doesn't want to get married. Okay, maybe doesn't want to go through the whole hoo-ha and hurrah with you. Okay, um, this person is taking his or her sweet time in coming towards you and showing their devotion in this way. There could also be, I mean, for those of you who are already married, um, there could have been a falling out here. There could be some kind of a separation taking place. Uh, maybe you are married to this person, but there was a third party interference because there's three people in this card. And it could be that this person that you're dealing with here looked outside of the marriage. Okay, and that's why this situation involves marriage, because you are married, but I do see a falling out here. Because why? Because this person looked outside of the marriage. They thought that the grass was greener on the other side. Now, the Ace of Wands is in reverse here, so I'm seeing something not working out. Okay, maybe... Uh, the attraction or the chemistry between you and this person is dwindling and fading out. Uh, maybe it's about reigniting the spark that's already within, um, you know, this existing relationship. Maybe, you know, the honeymoon phase does at some point fade in the stages of relationship. And I'm seeing that here. I'm seeing like... Um, you know, there's a lack of physical intimacy here. Maybe the the chemistry or the attraction is, so, like I said, is slowly dwindling here. And maybe this renewal of vows is is what's needed here to reclaim the connection, <laughs> to reclaim the spark. We've got two aces, ace of swords in the upright and ace of wands in the reverse. You want this, Libra. You want this. But this other person doesn't want it. They're not wanting it. Okay. Or well, there's a strong stubborn streak coming in. Maybe they just can't see... Um, themselves getting married at this point okay there's this person is putting on the brakes I feel like they have they're at some kind of a crossroad here we see the two of wands is in the reverse okay so maybe you're coming in with your sort of truth and you're saying hey let's do this let's get married uh, let's renew our vows you know, because you're at some kind of a crossroad. You have reached a, a crossroad in your connection and you're like, okay, it's time to make plans. But, you know, the two of wands is coming through in the reverse. So maybe these plans are not working out. Maybe the plan that you had isn't in the best interest of this person. Okay. Um, so it's about going back within and working out, okay, well, what do we both want from this connection? Are we headed in the same direction? Can whatever is challenging us, can we overcome it? So I feel like Libra here, you're trying to establish some kind of clarity. Okay, you're trying to seek clarity about what to do in this situation. Okay, because your person is putting their foot down. They they are clearly not as committed or devoted here or just, I don't see them investing in what you want. Okay, you might want marriage. You might want to renew your vows. They don't want that. They don't want that. So I feel like you're trying to seek some kind of 
uh, clarity or enlightenment on what to do at this point in the connection. Okay, um, because there's been some kind of a falling out. You're not aligned here. Okay, this is misaligned energies and it's about coming back. It's about meeting each other halfway and going, right, well, what do we both want? If marriage isn't on the cards for us, you know, where do we go from here? Where does our relationship go from here? So let's take a look and see what else is coming through when it comes to this person because clearly they're putting on the brakes, okay? Clearly they're saying no, this is a no, no, I don't want to get married. No, I don't want to renew my vows. No, no, no. They're saying no. And you're like asking the question saying, well, why? Tell me why. What does this mean? Um, what do we need to do? How do we overcome this? Okay, this card's coming through. Okay, fire ant, upward pointing triangle speaks to the element of fire. You could be dealing with the fire sign here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I feel like um, this situation is starting to irritate this person. Um, It, it's 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 enlarging like this issue is becoming bigger and bigger for this person um this person is really irritated by this they're irritated by the fact that you want this um and that you keep pressing and pushing for this but they're finding it very very irritating okay um i feel like yeah they're, they're feeling the pressure they're feeling the heat they're feeling the tension and that's why you're getting a pushback from them, okay? They're not ready for what you're ready for. It could be, um, it could be a past story for this person. Maybe, um, you know, they saw their own parents grow up and it didn't work out in their marriage and... They find the whole topic of commitment in this way, getting married, like very old-fashioned even. Yeah, but I do feel like this person is getting annoyed, is getting irritated by um, this conversation. And you're, you're getting a pushback from this person. Absolutely. If you keep pushing and pushing, I do feel um, I feel like if you keep forcing um, answers from this person, you're definitely going to get a pushback with the, with the fire ant energy. Okay. I just feel like the pressure is building up for this person. And it's getting too much. And that's why you're getting this pushback from them. Okay. Um, I feel like this is a sore topic for this person. I really do. Um, I don't feel like this person is very comfortable uh, with marriage. Uh, or if you are already married, I, don't, I feel like they're uncomfortable in the marriage. But they, for the most part, they're very uncomfortable about talking about what to do next because they're not ready they're not ready and they may fear that you know they lose a very good thing especially if things are good right now you know i'm seeing that with the four of wands it's like we're comfortable things are good why do you want to take it to the next stage But this is a source of tension. This is putting pressure on this person and they're, they're feeling under fire. They're feeling under pressure here. Um, and for the most part, I do see a pushback, Libra. 
So there we have it. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Until next time, bye for now.